All right. Um, last quick talk before the break, so hopefully that fault can keep you awake for this. Uh, <laughs> Um, yeah, so, and welcome to City Events Roadmap. Um, my name is Andrea Frittoli. I'm an open source advocate. Um, I work for IBM. I live in Wales where I enjoy the wind, so my hair looks always like scrambled. Um, I wear a few hats. I'm a City Events maintainer and co chair of the Event SIG, but I'm also on the CDF uh, TOC, so the Technical Oversight Committee, and a member of the governing board as a maintainer representative. Okay, so what uh, CD Events? Uh, CD Events is a specification, so it's a project hosted by the CD uh, Foundation. And we specify what uh, standard uh, events in the CI CD space should look like. And why do we need uh, such a thing? So why do we need CD Events? Well, if I have to say this in a single word, it would be interoperability. Uh, so there are a lot of uh, tools that are involved in setting up your uh, CI-CD workflows. And you, if you look in the diagram, you start from the SCM, build, test, signing, deploying artifacts. And there are a lot of tools involved. And um, if you want to implement something like uh, event-driven workflows, uh, CD events give you a format for the different components that are running in, in your workflow to talk to each other. And why do you want to have like even driven workflows that uh, you get like more scalability, more reliability, um, and more flexibility in your workflow? So if you can imagine, you uh, if you had like a single pipeline running from source to build, test, and sign and deploy, what happens if you now want to run some other test? If you want to run some security test in parallel, for instance, and you, if you have this, uh, if, if you use these event-driven approaches, then you can use triggers and policies to decide what should be part of your workflow. And the other use case that is uh, really important for CD events that we look at very carefully is observability. Also something that was discussed already today. Um, but it's important also when you have more complexity in your workflow, you have distributed workflow driven through events to have uh, a single point of observability. So you have you need to have the capability uh, to view what's going on in your workflow, to store that data, to notify your user when something goes wrong, and to collect uh, DevOps metrics. So where we are at with CD events, and this is the third announcement from today. So today we announced that we have the first release of CD events, and what does that mean? Well, in this release, um, we have events that cover four different uh, stages, orchestration, software configuration management, CI and CD, and we provide enough data to produce metrics for like lead time for changes and deployment frequency. We also released uh, the Go SDK, and we're going to release the Python SDK soon, and the Java SDK is work in progress. So this is what we get in our uh, CD events initial release. Uh, so what's next? And this is what we have in the roadmap. So the V01 release gives us like the foundation to start growing on CD events. And I'll start from the right. And we are these are the communities that we have been working with. But now that we have a release, we can get really serious with integrating CD events in the different tools. So we have POCs and we have worked with several communities uh, like Tecton, Jenkins, Spinnaker, Captain and Flux, and I mean, we have interest on CD events from uh, Shipwright and Jenkins X as well. And uh, in terms of features for CD events, we're looking at the su supply chain security area. Um, so we want to extend the build and artifact data models to include information like uh, SBOM, provenance, and signature. And also specifically important for the uh, event-driven workflows. If you want to rely on an event to start a certain part of your workflow, it's important that you know that you can trust that event. So something that we'll be investigating is, can we sign events? Can we make sure that the consumer of an event knows that an event has been not tampered with? Other things that we want to work on is uh, to extend the work that we started on DevOps metrics. So. Uh, include things like incident events so that we can cover the full span of the four uh, DORA metrics. Also, we want to uh, further enhance the data model, um, enrich uh, what we do about uh, what we have about test events, for instance. 
to enable more like policy driven workflows. Let's say if you have a standard way to talk about your test, so you can have like, uh, well, your usual unit test and end to end test, but you can also have like fuzzing type of tests. You can have uh, static analysis, dynamic analysis. So if you have a standard way to talk about this test, then you can uh, implement policies in your workflow to take decision whether <coughs> you're going to deploy uh, an artifact to the next stage based on which tests were executed uh, in your workflow. We're also looking at things like composition and links between events. Yeah, uh, that's uh, all that I had for today. So thank you for, uh, for listening. And if you have any question, um, I'll be around. So here are some links, some references to the CD events uh, community and specification in the case. And you can reach me on Twitter or GitHub, uh, LinkedIn, or I'm on the CDF Slack as well. Uh, as, and we have a CD events channel on the CDF Slack, so feel free to reach out. And I'll be around for the whole uh, day and the whole week, actually. So feel free to, to find me if you want to know more about CD events. <laughs>